Welcome everyone to this video whereby I shall share with you my thoughts on transforming transportation from car-like towns to future airports and seaports. My name is Raymond Hong and I am from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the National University of Singapore. I'm currently an assistant professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at NUS. A little bit background myself, I graduated from NUS with a Bachelor in Civil Engineering with a business minor and a PhD in Civil Engineering followed by a postdoctoral training at Purdue University. And I returned uh, to NUS as a lecturer uh, in 2010 and served as an assistant professor in 2014 to today. Uh, my research expertise mainly uh, involved the areas of pavement engineering, and multimodal transport infrastructure and operations. Now, I have received uh, several uh, major international research awards, such as the American Society of Civil Engineers Alfred Nobel Prize, uh, the International Association of Maritime Economies Hanjin Prize, the OCDI Takeuchi Yoshio Award, and the Ice Party uh, Early Career Award. And I have been serving and, as leadership roles in various societies uh, in transportation. And also I serve in uh, technical committee members uh, as in most of the global transport related societies. Now, I also uh, frequently share my talks uh, with the media and uh, with on topics prevailing uh, local transportation and also serve as a consultant to government agencies and the industry. Now, let me share with you my vision on transforming transportation from car-like cities, future seaports and airports. Now, basically, the industry today is no longer about manufacturing, construction, computing, using the old ways. We are now talking about the fourth industrial revolution and some might even say the fifth industrial revolution. There is a trend of moving towards AI, machine learning, big data, digital twins and the internet of things from the transportation front. And from the infrastructure perspective, we are moving towards circular economy, climate change, sustainability and livability. Now, my research objective aims at harnessing and creating disruptive technologies with the ultimate aim of fulfilling higher order aspirations. Basically, we are talking about job creation for a future economy so that everyone can enjoy better living, graceful aging, resilience, and live in a sustainable environment and processes, and as well as combating climate change. Now, as such, my research focus and my group's research focus are mainly in the area of transport and infrastructures. And in particular, uh, our team has been working aggressively in the area of car-like cities, smart nation, as well as moving towards future airports and future seaports. Now, this little article has, which I have extracted from the Street Times on 20. 20th of September 2018 basically uh, describes Singapore's pursuit for a car free or car light environment. And our team is actually working on solutions and methodology to improve transport planning, operations, infrastructure materials, and design so that we can achieve greater societal impact. Now, First, I shall share with you some of the research agenda and focus which my team has been working on in the area of car-like cities, smart nation, and towards a circular economy. Basically, we believe that future cities need a fundamental relook at how cities are designed, built, and managed, especially in the context of aging, climate change, pandemics, and a drive towards circular economy. Our team in NUS has been instrumental in designing cities fit for a car-like future, which consists of active mobility, autonomous and electric vehicle, 
and public transport for medium to long range travel. And these, we envision an electrified future and of course, a sharing economy whereby mobility as a service would be a norm. In this aspect, uh, we have been working in with this uh, NUS Smart Charter, which is the fully autonomous uh, charter that is going on trial at NUS right now. Um, from 2019 to early 2020. And our team has been analyzing various data that has been collected around these electric vehicle on demand services, as well as the related infrastructure. And our team has been working closely with various collaborators, including the Ministry of Transport, the Ministry of De National Development, uh, Land Transport Authority, Urban Redevelopment Authority, Housing Development Board, and other industry players to actually uh, design uh, charging location deployment around the island. And we envision that such uh, deployment would actually allow us to enjoy uh, a car-like future whereby we rely less on uh, conventional uh, uh, fuel engine vehicle or diesel engine vehicle and moving towards uh, an electrified um, future whereby we have less carbon emission actually emitted by our trucks. Now, from the smart nation perspective, uh, we are looking into using AI and machine learning uh, to enable digital twins so that these twins can be, can be harnessed to empower better decision-making, real-time and with predictive capabilities. Our team is currently collaborating with various agencies in Singapore in driving digital twin development with simulation capabilities for the land transport sector. Um, some key projects we're embarking on include developing real-time uh, traffic information systems with predictive capabilities, as well as incorporate simulation models, whereby we can actually include macro simulation, meso level simulation, micro or even nano simulation level uh, into our um, real-time uh, system framework, digital twin framework, so that we can apply it into managing critical infrastructures. From a circular economy front, uh, our team has been working uh, towards um, addressing concerns in climate change and sustainability. And in particular, we are driving a national effort in actually uh, developing plastic roads in Singapore. And in particular, we hope to create probably the world, world's first prototype of urban plastic road that meets the circular economy concept and is safe, durable, low noise, urban cool, while meeting various environmental requirements for actual applications. And in terms of future airports, we recognize that newer aircraft types, difficulty in building airports on reclaimed lands, focus on sustainability and climate change, and anticipated new ITO standards on ACR and PCR, warrants improved testing protocols with efficiency and effectiveness. Our team has been working closely with our airport operators and owners, such as the Changi Airport Group and the DSTA, uh, which is the Defense Science and Technology Agency, as well as local contractors, so that we can develop better testing protocol, um, better materials, reuse of existing materials, and new materials for use in future civilian and military airports in Singapore. And last but not least, for seaports, we see that seaports play a very vital role in international trade and commodity resilience. And this is one that will be enabled or heavily enabled by data, machine learning, autonomous technology, smart logistics and supply chain, supported by sound government policy, financial and legal framework. Now, our team has been working uh, in, for over the past years in developing the new TUAS Megaport, 
which will be the 50 million TEU ports uh, in Singapore, in the port of Singapore. And uh, we are also doing port infrastructure design, land transport systems, uh, and operational design for the new port, and as well as looking into international commodity flow for trade and commodity resilience, such as maybe food resilience or critical supply resilience uh, for application uh, in the post uh, COVID-19 world. Now, uh, my team is always looking for highly motivated research students and postdocs to work with us in this exciting journey to uh, transform transportation. Now, you can always contact me at ceeongr at nus.edu.sg for opportunities uh, to work with me in NUS. And of course, you can find out more about me and my research at the various web pages as shown in this slide. And with this, I end my presentation. Thank you for your time in watching this video and uh, have a good day. Thank you.